defenders our God is. Mighty to save, mighty to deliver, mighty to preserve, mighty to empower. I do not know of the greatest privilege than we have when we live in a conglomeration of no acceleration literally to be precise let me use the proper words an acceleration of knowledge it's as though um, this generation is faced with a frequency of knowledge than no other generation or peoples or civilizations have ever experienced. Scientists now are telling us uh, that uh, every five years the acceleration of knowledge far surpasses an accumulation of an entire century of the 18th, 17th, 15th centuries and going down. In just five years, the innovations, the discoveries, the 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 you know the the things that are just coming out in terms of technological breakthroughs in the medical world, in in uh, in up uh, in weaponry, you know, oceanography, uh, ethnography, uh, cosmology, uh, the medic world, just every sphere of life you know the discoveries and the insights and the knowledge and the understanding in different parts and spheres and areas and arenas and stages of life is just amazing absolutely amazing now about three years ago or four years ago the scientists had a congress and they dismissed pluto as not anymore as part of the planets and they considered it as a mere star. Uh, but um, at the same time, now with more powerful scientific algorithms and calculations and, uh, you know, telescopes and gadgets being released to the outer space, to do research you know and so forth and so forth they have even discovered that there is a possibility of 50 other planets that are not discovered or known by man yet mind boggling discoveries mind boggling <laughs> now the scientists in the medicine world have even come with the, uh, you know, treatment for cancer. It's a breakthrough. HIV now, you know, that treatment for HIV, you know, diseases and and and, and uh, complications in our bodies that no one ever thought at some point of life we could ever have a breakthrough have solutions to in terms of medicinal uh, solutions and today the doctors the surgeons don't even have to necessarily completely open up your body they simply use laser beams you know pre precise surgery technique uh, technology and so there are amazing breakthroughs in every area of life amazing a prolification prize guard, a confluence, a, a, an outpour, an avalanche, a gushing out, a flash flood of breakthroughs and discoveries and innovations and uh, new frontiers and new approaches. I'm just amazing breakthroughs, amazing in every area of life. I mean, we have flying cars today that can fall down and just, you know, 
be the normal conventional cars and suddenly can spread their wings and fly and defy the traffic. You know, at the same time, they can uh, go through the water and be amphibian and then come to the land again and patch on the grass and just amazing stuff. Um, things that were imaginations have become a reality today, complete reality. So uh, this broadcast, I just, I just feel like talking of the amazing, uh, uh, wonderful ways of the Lord. So these are the natural things that we can see, we can feel, we can touch, we can smell, we can see, we can hear, we can smell, we can taste, and we can feel. All the five senses today have been aroused in a way that have never been aroused today. We smell things we've never smelled before. We touch things we've never touched before. We hear sounds that we've never heard before. We smell, I mean, we, we taste things we have never tested before. So this plethora of experiences in the natural world that we can quantify scientifically and, 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 and have evident manifested proofs are amazing and incredible, nearly beyond description. That's, I'm talking about the things happening in the natural. I'm talking about the things happening in the natural. You can imagine in the 50s and 60s, you had to use these big boxes, you know, big boxes uh, to have a very slow computer functioning with a very small memory, you know, boxes upon boxes. And even when man was releasing, uh, uh, when man went to the moon, you'll recall, if you recall Apollo, you know, Apollo 11, Apollo 12, 13, and, and so forth. They had to use so many computers, you know, connected together, boxes, box full, box full of the same, gigantic computers, gigantic computers. Now today, all of that can just be in a microchip. Amazing stuff going on in the world. <laughs> that a cataract may not necessarily have to go through an operation to get rid of it or to remove it. By surgery, an eye drop is sufficient to dissolve a cataract in the eye completely and restore the eye to see perfectly well amazing amazing technology amazing breakthroughs amazing uh, stuff going on this i'm just giving examples of the uh, natural things the natural things in the natural realms going on now you know i i wish i had time to talk about the cluster bombs uh, the f-35s uh, uh, you know the submarines today the warfares uh the uh, the planes that can go from one end to another in the shortest time possible. These are natural things happening today. Now, all truth is parallel. The things that we see happening in the natural is a significance and evidence of what already is happening in the spiritual realm. For the spiritual world rules the natural world. The invisible world is more real than the visible world. The intangible world is more real than the tangible world. So all truth is parallel. This is how I'm going to bring this now for our understanding. When you see the prolification, when you see the avalanche, when you see the gush, when you see the flash flood, when you see uh, the speed at which things are happening in the natural world, even much faster happening in the spiritual world. So God is doing mighty, glorious things in the spiritual world that we need to tap into and then manifests in the natural world. The 
the abundance of revelation of the word like the world has never seen before. The dynamics from the word of God like we can't even comprehend. And this is happening fast, 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 fast. So Daniel 11.32 says, if you have your uh, Bibles, you can go to Daniel 32. It says, but they that know their God, they shall be strong and they shall carry out great exploits. But how shall we carry out these great exploits? By exercising faith. When we exercise faith in the word, in the sovereignty of God, knowing that God who promised in his word, knowing that the word of God is efficacious, and knowing therefore that the power of God is available in us, the anointing, the grace, the mind, the power, the glory of God the fire of the Holy Ghost, uh, the wisdom, the uh, excellence, uh, the um, insight, the discretion of the Lord, the knowledge of God. These things are going to unfold in our lives in ways that will boggle our mind. So that now today, because of the acceleration of the things that, were happen that are happening in the world, it will not be an exaggeration to say that the uh, level of anointing and grace, the speed at which God will be working in these earthen vessels to glorify his name, to establish his kingdom, for kingdom exploits will be in such an accelerated mode that many minds will be boggled. <laughs> But how do we tap into all these resources, all into all these dynamics, into all these happenings and workings and, and doings and moves and shifts? How do we tap into an acceleration uh, mode? The spirit of acceleration is by exercising faith, 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 the unfaltering the unwavering, the unflinching, the unfailing, the uncompromising, the inassailable, the practical, the impregnable, the life-giving, result-producing faith. 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 Faith provokes the supernatural. Praise God. Faith provokes the supernatural. To be manifest in the natural. Faith. Faith. So my brothers and sisters today. The spirit of the Lord is reminding us. That we are living in a time. When nobody. None of us ought to limit God in any way. In any form. The odds may be against us. Sometimes the events and the elements of life and the happenings and all this, but we are not of this world. Though we are in the world. By exercising faith, we tap into the supernatural. And the supernatural influences the natural and the natural bows to the supernatural. For the supernatural comprehends the natural. The invisible comprehends the visible. The intangible comprehends the tangible. The immaterial comprehends the material. Then it rules and reigns and has mastery over it. And that is here, the word of God. So let us stay, let us meditate on the word, let us cling on the word, let us, cling, let, 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 let us, let us, let us meditate in it. Let us believe, let's have our confidence in the word. And the power of God within will be stirred up and the supernatural will become the natural and the supernatural will become the norm in our lives. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. Praise God. So get hold of the word. Exercise your faith. As we continue on this faith series, please, I don't want you to miss any of the broadcasts on this faith series. Don't miss any of the broadcasts on the faith series. God is going to lift you and raise you and use you powerfully because faith Hebrews chapter 11 
Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good report. We are saved by faith. We are saved by the grace of God through faith. We are saved by the grace of God through faith. No wonder Paul say that I no longer live in the, uh, you know, but I live in the faith of the Son of God. Praise God. So ex let's exercise our faith. Let's exercise our faith. It's practical. The spiritual will be manifest in the natural. All the exp everything in this world that we require of is in the spiritual world and is locked within us in Christ Jesus. So as we exercise faith, as we exercise faith, as we exercise faith, Eventually, we will have mastery over everything around our lives. God bless you and keep you. I'm going to just be short today, but I'll be coming live again tomorrow morning. Good night for those of you who are going to sleep. Good morning for those of you who are waking up. Good afternoon for those of you who are about and then as uh, insulation of the sun. And God bless you. Kingdom aristocracy, always a joy to bring to us the word, the anointed the inspired, the unadulterated, the blessing are sharing, favor bringing, word of the living God. For man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God that proceeded out of the mouth of God. God bless you, love you, take care. I'll see you tomorrow again. Thank you.